And I'll never forget the day where I called my cousin who <laughs> works with you on Botched. And yeah. I called Matt and I said, I th I'm sick. I, I've got a problem. And I just assumed it was breast implant illness. And he said, well, I want you to go see Dr. Nassif. He's the only one that I would trust. And I want you to go see him because I want him to guide you of what to do. And I will never forget walking into your office thinking, okay, you're going to tell me who to go to, who to see. And I remember that day of, of you looking at me and saying, this isn't anything else, but there's a problem with the fillers in your face. And I never thought about it being something that could be fillers in my face. And that just never crossed my mind. And I'll never forget that day where it was that aha moment for me with you of saying, no, this is, we got to dissolve all this and we've got to fix all this. And I'm telling you, Dr. Nassif, ever since you took care of me, and we can backtrack from that, but ever since you took care of me, touch wood, I mean, I was testing positive for lupus. I'm not. I was having all of these illnesses. It's amazing. I mean, even my immunologist, she even said, because of getting rid of the fillers in your face, your, it, your immune system is kicking into high gear now. I mean, you literally, literally saved my life. You didn't just change you know, my face. You saved my life. You know what's interesting about that, too, of all the years doing this? I've never heard of someone getting systemically ill from... You know, the reversible fillers that are FDA approved. Uh, I just got to tell you, because I have a lot of patients that come in, and I know we interrupted you for a minute, but this is an important oh. point, that yeah. come in with fillers from that are permanent from different parts of the world. And we need to try to operate and remove those surgically. But even that can get them sick, but not like it did to you. And I do remember you telling me, and this is what hit me more than anything, when is part of your story, which I think the outage should know is how that happened when you were doing the um, uh, one of the shows that you were doing and actually the agent or director or someone said you know you're you're too thin i, I was too what it was. fat i was too, too fat. fat and yeah. then i lost okay. weight became anorexic and as you know anorexia eats muscle in the face and you can't get that back they were they were tough on that show and it was it was very much about who could be the thinnest um a lot of actresses i found out through the years suffered anorexia. A couple were hospitalized. A couple went through mental breakdowns. I'm not the only one come to find out now decades later. So this is becoming a, a very uh, big story now as, as uh, things are unfolding of how Hollywood was very, it was especially rough, I would say, in the early 2000s. I do feel Hollywood has gotten way better now, weirdly enough, I think because so many people are coming forward. And that was a big mission for me of wanting to come forward with my story and wanting to do this podcast with you, to come forward on topics like this, to bring awareness, to help others to understand all different topics, not just fillers and what I went through, but all different things. But going back to you and I, you truly saved my life. I mean, this was a serious issue. I was getting pneumonia like eight times a year. I would get pneumonia. And then to test positive for lupus, it just, nothing was making sense. Nothing was adding up. And then, like I said, touch wood, ever since I have gone down this journey with you and you took care of me, I have been like on top of the world. My health has been fantastic. You know, yes, I've been dealing with our little things here and there, but as far as like the weird stuff that didn't make sense, gone. Like I've been, I've been really doing great. So I really, I can't thank you enough for that, Dr. Nassif.